Hey guys, how's it going? Coach James here. So for today, part one, we're gonna work on some single leg strength. So we're gonna go five sets of five skater squats. So it's kind of like a pistol squat, but in reverse. So what we're gonna do, I recommend using like a ab mat or a pillow, something you can elevate your knee on um, as we go through. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna get my heels against my mat. I'm going to almost set up like I'm gonna go into a reverse lunge, okay? So the whole goal with this one is not to let your back foot touch. Now the knee can touch the pad, but your back foot can't. So I'm going to bring this leg back. I'm gonna start by arms reaching forward, initiate from sitting back through the hips, and then we're just gonna push that knee forward, tap, and then come straight back up. Notice how my back foot didn't touch the floor, okay? And I'm driving through that right leg. So make sure we keep our hips squared up. I'm going to curl that leg back so I'm keeping tension through that hamstring. I'm going to squat down and then drive all the way up. Okay, so we're going to go five on each way. Now, if that's too challenging, I recommend having a higher elevated pad. Okay, so that's one thing you can do, but also what you can do is an eccentric only. So what that will look like is you're going to lower down on one leg and then place your back toe into the floor to come back up. So that's option one, or you can hold on to something if you're having trouble with that one, okay? So it's five on each side, okay? And then we have five sets total on those. Once we're done with that, we're gonna go with five rounds of six each side bridge presses. Now, I'm gonna grab my kettlebell, and I'm gonna start with a good bridge position. So I'm going to keep the low back off the floor, butt squeezed, and then I'm just gonna press, keep that elbow at a slight 45 degree angle, I'm pulling it back to the floor, and then I'm pressing all the way up, still keeping my core engaged, glutes engaged, total body tension, and then we're gonna press for six on each side, okay? Once we're done with that, we're gonna go with some midline work, but also hamstring work. So we have a suitcase RDL. So very similar to a good morning, we're just looking for that hamstring stretch. So I'm gonna start in a good deadlift position, Nice narrow stance for this one, okay? I'm gonna crush the bell with my grip, gripping on the other side so I'm keeping this oblique nice and tight. I'm gonna drive up and then from here what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hinge back until I feel that tension in the hamstrings and I'm gonna drive all the way through, core nice and braced. Hinge, feel the stretch, and then drive all the way up. I'm going 10 on one side and then I'll hit just 10 on the other side from there, okay? Finally, we're gonna finish off. If you have a jump rope, you're either gonna do 35 double unders unbroken or 105 single unders unbroken, okay? Now, if you don't have either of those, that's totally fine. We're gonna go with toe taps. So use your kettlebell, opposite arm, opposite leg, nice light taps on the bell. You have 75 total reps on that one. And remember, we're going through for five rounds. 